Hello New Zealand, thanks very much for joining us, I'm Philip Duncan. Well the westerly change has begun across the country and the week ahead is looking stormy at times with gale force winds, some snow, heavy rain, but also some sun and warmth amongst the cold and wet and windy as well, so there's a lot going on. This is the latest animated map and you can see the wind blowing in from the westerly quarter now. So as forecast that westerly change swept through, we saw big thunderstorms crossing over parts of the North Island on Wednesday afternoon, affecting areas like Kati Kati and over towards Tauranga and Mount Monganui. And then in the early hours of Thursday morning, just before sunrise, a whole lot of thunderstorms and big downpours with localised flooding and even hail crossed over the Auckland area. So we've got that change well and truly in, it's pushed away that warmer than average weather. but. We're not done with the warmer than average weather despite the incoming storminess, we've still got some warm days in the mix. So this is how it looks for the end of the week, Friday. Westerly's blowing through, so it should be fairly mild in eastern and northern parts of the country, but if you're down in the south, still pretty cold, especially south of about Canterbury. So Otago and down towards Southland, those areas are especially cold and windy at the moment. A few showers up the west coast, but it's mostly dry for all eastern areas across Friday. Then we get to Saturday and that surge of wet weather moves further northwards. There's a burst of rain or showers coming into the western side of the North Island, pushing through across to Bay of Plenty, Central Plateau. But I think most of the eastern areas will stay dry, but it'll be windy and it'll be warm. In fact, it'll be warmer than average in a number of eastern areas on Saturday as a result of the west to northwest winds that are blowing. But look at the storm down here in the Southern Ocean. That's one of about five that are gonna pass through over the next week. There's one after the other. So Saturday, that's the setup. Then we get to Sunday. That's the next one coming in. The other one's already moved away. Look at all the wind, a lot of isobars being pushed together here, gale force winds looking likely, very heavy rain also looking likely on Sunday over on the west coast. But most of the North Island, fairly mild, fairly dry, nothing really to talk about. It's a pretty nice day, although the winds will pick up, maybe even getting to gale force down around Wellington. Then we get to Monday of next week, there's the next surge of cold air and showers, and the winds go from those warmer west to northwest winds that we had across Sunday and into Monday, and once again turns to a colder southwesterly, and in fact this um, southwest change is colder than the one we've got today, Thursday. The one that's coming for Monday goes all the way up to about the lower North Island, so that's that dark blue line you see. That's indicating a much colder air change sweeping through. And then we get to Tuesday, and next week, as you can see, it is looking still very unsettled. There's another storm down in the Southern Ocean that is affecting our weather. High pressure remains to our north and out towards Aussie. That high, pretty much parked there. So we've got a lot of wind. Nor'westers, again, they'll be very strong. There'll be rain, snow, but also the other side, sunny, and dry and mild. So we've got a lot going on. It's actually very typical autumn weather to be getting the windy stuff and then the warm and the cold as well. But the difference between autumn and spring is you get more and more and more of these cold snaps, whereas in spring we get fewer of them and we head towards summer. So expect more of this, but it looks like the end of May is gonna end on a pretty windy, unsettled note. That is all from me. We'll update you again on Friday with the very latest. <laughs>